All right, I'll get straight to the point. Which is the best flagship killer? Now, ever since our iPhone Neo 9 Pro video, you guys have been asking us to compare it to the OnePlus 12R. Both have Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, similar specs, and both cost around 35 to 40,000. So, which one should you buy? Well, you asked, we deliver. And we'll also take it one step further. We'll also include last year's best flagship killer, Nothing Phone 2. Because A, it costs the same, and B, it truly has some extra flagship level features, which makes it different and worth the comparison. And the first difference comes in the whole unboxing experience. While the Nothing Phone 2 just comes with the phone, charging cable, and a SIM ejector tool, the OnePlus 12R and the Neo 9 Pro comes with a phone case and a fast charger included in the box. So, points for unboxing goes to OnePlus and iQoo. Oh, and by the way, we'll be giving out one point for each category to keep things simple and easy for you guys. Now, coming to the phones, things are pretty fascinating here. With the iQoo Neo 9 Pro, you get this red and white color design. It is pretty eye-catchy. Now, this variant comes with vegan leather finish and see side by side with all the three phones, iQoo is the lightest at about 190 grams and it also has a flat design which I prefer. Now, the OnePlus 12R on the other hand it goes in different direction. For starters, you get a glass back which makes it feel more premium but at the same time, if I do this, it gets smudges all over so you will have to use a cover. Good thing is, on the back and the front, you get Corning Gorilla Glass Victus 2. And speaking of the front, hang on. Sam, flat display or curved display? Of course, curved display. It looks more stylish. So yeah, OnePlus 12R has this curved display and few people like Sam do prefer that. I don't. Nothing phone 2 here, I would say, is the perfect middle ground. It has a flat display, which I prefer, and it has a curved back design, so best of both worlds. Also, you get this glyph interface with nothing, which makes it look unique and also functional. We'll come to the glyph in just, just a moment, but coming back to design, design choices are subjective, but I would personally go with nothing. It looks different. I mean, differently good. Moving on from looking to viewing, things are quite interesting. On paper, all the phones have similar displays, 6.7 inch, Full HD, 120Hz, AMOLED, yada, yada, yada. Now, yes, before you start commenting, OnePlus and iQoo have 1.5K resolution and all. Yes, agreed. They do. However, practically, you don't see any difference. Similarly, all of them have variable refresh rate, LTPO. Here, let me show you. If I open YouTube, it is on 120Hz and if I open the calculator, it goes down as low as 1Hz. But the main difference here is when watching videos, see all the three phones, I'll set max brightness and play a YouTube HDR video. Now, I'm not sure how much it will show on camera, but side by side, nothing phone 2's display seems a bit dull. OnePlus 12R is good, but I really prefer the iQoo Neo 9 Pro. The colors and everything look poppy. It is vibrant, but not oversaturated. Also, see, we have this gadget which tells how bright a display can go. So if you see, nothing phone 2 and OnePlus 12R stays somewhere around 1200-1400 nits, but the iQoo Neo 9 Pro touches almost 2300 nits. Meaning, if you're watching an HDR movie and there are a lot of explosion and boom, 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 all that happening, then it will look great on iQoo. And here's the icing on the cake. In certain games, the iQoo can actually go all the way up to 144Hz. We'll get to gaming in just a moment. So out of the three phones from a which is the best phone to watching videos perspective, I would go with iQoo Neo 9 Pro. Now, one of the most important aspects is camera and we are out here to test that. So, while all of them take good pictures, there is a pattern here. Nothing Phone 2's HDR is slightly off. Picture looks dull at times. And iQoo has a tendency of adding blue tone and brightening the face, which makes skin tone at times look odd. OnePlus 12R, however, in that respect, is the proper middle ground. Skin tone, color, sharpness and all are pretty nice. We even clicked few portrait mode shots and here too, I like the pictures on the OnePlus 12R. The background blur, edge detection and all is on point. Now, moving to selfies, I would say all of them take really good pictures. If I were to pick one, I would go with OnePlus 12R. Skin tone, HDR and overall pictures look good. Now, one thing to note here is iQoo is the only phone that can do 8K 30fps video, but again, who is doing that, so mostly we'll be shooting in 4K. So if I combine photos and videos, I would say the OnePlus 12R has a complete package. Which brings me to the performance. Now, all of these are around 40,000 phones, so obviously that normal day-to-day -day task like calling someone, browsing the web, reading articles, watching videos, they are all buttery smooth on all the three phones. But if you do extra step, like play games, edit videos and all, then things are not so simple. The Phone 2 launched in 2023, so it has Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. The OnePlus 12R and Neo 9 Pro has Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, which means, see, on N22, nothing has the lowest score but the interesting thing here is OnePlus 12 and iQoo both have the same processor but iQoo has higher scores. Even on Geekbench, see iQoo has the higher numbers. Now the reason behind this is OnePlus 12R has a older UFS 3.1 storage whereas iQoo Neo 9 Pro has a newer and latest UFS 4 storage. Besides higher benchmarks, if you're a gamer, iQoo has a few tricks to get something called frame rate interpolation. So see here, I'll start playing Genshin Impact. This is a very demanding game. Now if I turn on frame rate interpolation, it uses software magic and you get extra frames and the gameplay looks much smoother. So yeah, for performance, I'd go with iQoo Neo 9 Pro and especially gaming, 
IQ, no doubt. However, software is a complete different story here. Like all the three phones are on Android 14, but they have their own customized skin. IQ comes with OneTouch OS, which for the most part is okay. The only thing is that it has quite a lot of third-party bloatware pre-installed. OnePlus 12R, on the other hand, has Oxygen OS, and this is much cleaner. No bloatware actually. However, in our use, we did find a few glitches here and there. Like see here on the AOD, the fingerprint overlaps with the text. And there was this one time where the Swiggy notification stayed on even after restarting the phone, it was there. So we had to uninstall Swiggy app and reinstall it back. And this comes still to this state. And you do get this fluid notifications here or dynamic whatever they call it. But to be honest, this is a missed opportunity here. It works on very limited apps. There should have been an option to show this for every notification. Lastly, nothing comes with nothing OS. And of the three phones, I would go with nothing OS. This has like a near stock Android feel, clean, no bloatware, nothing. And nothing has added extra software features. You can now add widgets in the AODs. But my favorite thing in nothing is the Glyph interface. This does not only look cool, but it is very functional. Like here's how I used it. Whenever I'm doing research, I'll set a countdown timer and keep the phone like this, no distraction. And I also have a visual cue on how much time I have left. Now, the only thing here is since it launched in 2023, it will max go only up till Android 16, while both of these phones will go up until Android 17. However, because of the Glyph interface and the clean Android experience, plus nothing is working quite a lot on the AI features and everything with nothing OS, so I would still go with nothing over the other two. Which finally brings me to battery. As per phone specs, Phone 2 has 4700 mAh battery, Neo 9 Pro has 5160 mAh battery, and the OnePlus 12R has the highest 5500 milliampere battery. Plus, nothing charges at 45 watt, IQ at 120 watt, and OnePlus at 100 watts. So, see, in normal conditions, all the three phones should last you easily one day. But let's take things one step further. First, let's charge all the phones to 100%. Now, we'll continuously do 3D Mark stress test. This actually drains the phone quite a lot. And after half an hour, next, we'll play a two hour long movie on all the three phones at max brightness. So, yeah, from our testing, not a surprise, OnePlus 12R has the better battery performance. So yeah, that was our comparison of the OnePlus 12R, IQ Neo 9 Pro and Nothing Phone 2. So which is the best flagship killer, then which one should you get? Well, honestly, all the three phones have their own ups and downs. I'll make it simple for you. If software is your priority, then I would suggest you go with Nothing Phone 2. Yes, it will get one year lesser updates because it came out in 2023. But considering all of the extra stuff, Glyph interface, wireless charging and all of that, it is a worthy trade-off. But if you want a phone for watching movies and playing games, then IQ Neo 9 Pro is the way to go. Display is very nice, performance is good and those extra gaming features are cherry on the top. Finally, if your priority is camera, then I would recommend going for OnePlus 12R. Out of all the phones, the pictures that we clicked on this, it had the best results. So let us know which is your priority when buying a phone. Comment down below. And if you have stayed till the end, do subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you in the next one. Signing off. Pew, pew.